Man, it's amazing. Two Christians in the Super Bowl leading their teams. Praise God. But there's a lot of other Christians that played sports and were faithful and loved Jesus, but they didn't reach that pinnacle of their careers. They didn't, they never won a Super Bowl. Sometimes what we can do is the best with what we can do. Bruce Lawn. We get into that. Guys, my name is Bruce Lawn, and this channel exists to encourage you to master mind your business the master's way. May not be subscribed yet. So if you aren't, please hit that subscribe button as we are on the verge of cracking 10 thousand subscribers and i would love to celebrate that with you all right now let's get into the video when you are attempting to achieve things at a, at the at the most elite level you can't calculate for all of the variables and make a goal and make a plan to do all of the things you have to do your part pour yourself into whatever it is your craft is and, and what it is you're trying to do what it is you believe god's calling you to do with your vocation your dreams your goals fill, fill in the blank but i think there's a degree of release where we can't control the variables and so when you start setting goals based on outcomes and not inputs that's when you that's when you exhaust yourself and play yourself this is what i mean if you have a specific financial goal and you're consuming yourself with a goal you have a specific fitness goal you're consuming yourself with the end result because you can't control all of those things you can't control certain aspects of the economy you can't control certain opportunities that may be presented to you you can't control how many sales you'll make all the time it's a numbers game so what do you control you can control what you can control you control the controllables you can control the inputs you can control the inputs. The outputs ultimately belong to God. Meaning this, if you want to grow a garden, you have to go out, pull the weeds, plow the land, plant the seed. If you have irrigation, water the seed. But ultimately, God has to make things grow. Ultimately, God has to send the rain, send the sunshine. And then the growth still has to happen. You can't control any, everything. And I think when we become outcome driven instead of input driven, we play ourselves because you can't always control the output. So I say all that to say, I'm thinking of these guys and it's like, man, it's amazing. Two Christians in the Super Bowl leading their teams. Praise God. But there's a lot of other Christians that wanted to, that played sports and were faithful and loved Jesus, but they didn't reach that, that pinnacle of their careers. They didn't, they never won a Super Bowl. I got buddies that played in the NFL that never won a Super Bowl. Sometimes what we can do is the best with what we can do. And I think God is concerned about our heart and us honoring him with our time, talent, and treasure and being focused on the inputs and the consistency on the things we can control and allowing the chips to fall where they may. I'm doing this in real time right now with this YouTube channel. Believe it or not, I cannot control if we get to a million subscribers or not. I do not have the control of that. What I can't control is my input. What I can't control is me consistently showing up, trying to make the best videos for you guys, listening to your guys' feedback, reading your guys' chat. What are the felt needs in the community? How can we make the video? Videos better? How can we be more efficient? I can control those things, but I, I can't control how many impressions YouTube gives me every single month, how many new viewers see this. I can't control those things. I can control the inputs. I got to let God do the outputs. I've depleted my body of glycogen. I'm in the process of a cut right now. I'm trying to get back down to 170. I'm in the 170 club today. Super excited. There's certain things that I may not be able to control my body as I'm, I'm about to turn 40 this year, right? There's my metabolism's changing. It might be harder to get back down to 170. Certain things I can't control, but I know this. I know this much from YouTube and from fitness, if I do my part, if I control the controllables, usually the needle moves and usually things happen and things change. As you're going forward and say you have dreams and you have goals and you have these big ideas for 2024, do not obsess yourself with the outputs, obsess yourself with the things you can control and walking with Jesus every single day and break those down into daily non-negotiables. What are those non-negotiables daily? What are those non-negotiables weekly? For me, the daily non-negotiables are getting in the word, getting in a prayer, being in the gym, following the meal plan my coach laid out for me, being here to stream. I'm trying to do something daily re music related, right? Spent spending time with my family every day. Those are my daily non-negotiables. I also have weekly non-negotiables, weekly non-negotiables. I go to church every week. That's a non-negotiable, right? So there's weekly, not weekly, not negotiables. I shoot videos for my music every week because I'm, I'm getting the music off the ground. How weekly non-negotiables. Then you have monthly non-negotiables. We give to our church once a month. Every time we get paid, once a month we give to our church no matter what. We give to our local church. That's a monthly non-negotiable. So if you break your days, weeks, and months into daily, weekly, monthly non-negotiables and you do those inputs, I think God got you. Now, it may not be you at the Super Bowl living your wildest dreams and, oh, <laughs> uh, you know, because both of these dudes love Jesus. Do you see what? Do you see how this is connected? Both of these brothers love Jesus. Does God have a favorite and a pick? I I don't, I don't know how that works. The providence of God is, he, is, is obviously God's all-knowing, all-powerful. So he knows who's going to win the Super Bowl. 
Both of these brothers want to win the Super Bowl, right? I don't think either one of them are more loved or more favored. So I don't know how that's going to play out. So they both can't be number one. They both can't be at the elite of the elitist level, right, of their craft. But what they're going to do is they're, they're putting in those inputs and, you know, where the chips fall is where the chips fall. And by the way, you know, Ricky Bobby, like if you're not first, you're last. Like that's stupid. It's okay to be number second. It's okay to... <laughs> It's okay to be the second best quarterback in the league. That's okay too, right? All things to the glory of God. So anyway, hopefully that encourages you guys this week. Focus on your inputs. Focus on your daily non-negotiables, your weekly non-negotiables, your monthly non-negotiables. If you focus on those, you may not control how things play out. But if you do those the right things long enough over a long enough time horizon, I thank you so much for watching that video. Guys, I believe that one of the best ways you can build a business is by first building a platform online. So Zach Sparazzo put together a free training for you to learn the number one metric you can control to help improve your online presence.